have stayed for. The final of the women's 100 meters T44. And the hero from the 200. two years ago is in this. Eris Pryson has already denied Lafura gold here this week. It was in the long jump, which she won for the Netherlands. She has a chance. New personal best this year at 14.60. She has Dutch company alongside. Marlene van Ganserwinkel. And now, the reigning World champion at 100 meters. Gold at London 2012 and 100. Gold in the last World Championships in both one and two. Marie Amelie Lafer. Completing the full Dutch contingent of three here. They could do a clean sweep, especially as Malu van Rijn won the silver in London and claimed the gold in the 200, denying Lafer. Glory in that and knocking her down to silver. For Great Britain, she's done really well to reach this final. Sophie Camlish. 18. April Holmes of the USA. Gold in Beijing. Bronze in London and in the World Championships in Christchurch many other successes besides. She's 40. She's the only one born in the 70s in the squad. Lefer, the only one born in the 80s in 1988. This is Saki Takakua of Japan, a bow for the audience. And Laura Sugar is in lane eight for Great Britain. The only sweet taste of victory that the crowd won comes out of lane three. It's a combined event. There's a T43, Malu van Rijn in lane four. But this is the big climax of the night, the final of the women's 100 meters, T44. Preussen in one, Van Ganswinkel two, the fur three, Van Rijn four, Gamlich five, home six, Takakua seven, Sugar is in lane eight. So tense around the stadium in Lyon. The main two stands are full, wanting to get a good view of their hero, see if she can get gold here. And the fur and three, Van Rijn four. Oh, they are away first time. What a start by Le Fur. It's an unbelievable start by Le Fur. And she's flying Van Rijn behind. Kamlish to Van Rijn is coming. Van Rijn is coming. She's pulling the party. It's Dutch gold and Le Fur is beaten. And Marlu Van Rijn wins the gold. And it's a championship record. 13.02. And it was a Dutch athlete that denied Lafar the gold in the long jump. And it's happened again here in the 100 meters. But this time it's Marley Van Rijn looking to go in for the final 30. And Lafar had no more to give, but Van Rijn did. It was an unbelievable start by Lafar. And I'll confess, I thought at first she full started. She didn't. Van Rijn came in. It's a championship record. Lafar will have the silver anyway, and the crowd love that. It's two silver medals for Lafar. But Lafar had won this in the last two major championships and at home soil. She was leading here, and look at Van Rijn go. She was down in fourth, and then suddenly she zipped away. She knew she was in great form, and she knew she was going to win. And Van Rijn took it 13.02. The fair was in second place, Holmes was in third. It's still very much a carnival atmosphere here, and the mascot is greeting Marie Amelie Lafer. Fair meets Lafer. And it's silver for France, but it's gold for the Netherlands. And Marlou van Rijn. And she's being well congratulated by the crowd. And Lafer is getting a fantastic reception here. Despite 
it not being the gold medal. It was a fantastic race, and just the way Van Rijn came in the final 40 was just sensational. She's a brilliant, brilliant worthy champion. Yes, like you, I thought the French girl must have uh, done an illegal start, but actually it was just her reaction time was just so quick. And then the double blades of Malu Van Rijn, once they got going, came storming through, and the blade babe has won. Oh, it was just sensational. Just as soon as she got into a stride. Now, now watch three here, watch the start. With the naked eye, I thought there was a full start, but the replay confirms it wasn't. Look at how far back Van Rijn was. And then around 50, it reminds me of uh, Whitehead in the 200 final in London. Just as soon as the stride was there, it was much faster, much quicker. Just outside her own world record by 600 of a second, by the way, which Van Rijn holds. It was just sensational running. There was no smile on her face. Maybe there was. And then it turned into a grimace because she was overtaken by Van Rijn on the line. What a finish, what a race. And she has two silver medals, and she has her gold from London and Christchurch. I'm sure she'd have absolutely loved it if she had got a gold here in her native France. But, uh, a large crowd staying for that last event on the track. They wanted to see the local girl get the gold. But she's got a silver, she looks happy enough with that, and it was a great champion. And Van Rijn wins.